Welcome, everybody, to the H3 Podcast Experience. We've upgraded it to experience. <laughs> Today. How can I <laughs> compete with Joe Rogan if I'm not an experience? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Come on. Let's, yeah. We got to step it up here. We are sponsored today by MeUndies, Hymns, and Quip. And I am very honored and happy to introduce the very funny Tom Segura who's here with us today. What was that, Dan? Oh, I can hear you through this. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have this notorious problem because now we're live on YouTube and we can't take anything back. Oh, right. So as long as we stick the landing. Yeah. It's ben, all good. But right. I heard Dan through there. And I was like, oh, I heard Dan. I thought he was like, take it from the top. Like, back <laughs> yeah. to one. Um, well, nothing will. We, I think we stuck it, guys. Okay, are we, okay we're in it. We're, we're stuck. Well, let me finish my intro. Uh, Tom Segura has three extremely funny stand up specials on Netflix. Disgraceful, which I have to say is probably one of my top five favorites. Wow, thanks, man. That's very nice I of you to say. I was loving that. Thank and you. I recommend everybody check that out. Thank you. Mostly stories and completely normal. They're all on Netflix. He's the host of your mom's podcast along with his mom's wife. House. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mom's podcast. house podcast. <laughs> I'm zipping right. Oh, it's all right. We got. We can't start over again. <laughs> Along with his wife, which we have in common. Yes. Uh, Christina Pazinski. Pretty close. How did I? I pretty really, close, I thought it's I rehearsed pretty good. It. It's pretty good. It's actually Pazinski. Uh. She has a uh, has publicly changed it to Christina P. Thank you. To say perfect. That's a public service. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was I listened to the intro mm -hmm. of your guys' podcast like twenty times. Oh, really? Because I hate saying uh, people's names wrong. Yeah, like, no, you gave a valiant Pajinsky, effort. Pajinsky. And I wasn't trying to say it like, okay. hey, dickhead, I you're saying it. it wrong. No, I expected yeah. it. I yeah. fully expected it. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's also going on a tour across the U.S. starting in August. You can buy tickets at tompsagord.com slash tour. Thank you, sir. And <laughs> very pleased and honored to have you with us. Thank you so Thank you much guys for having me here. Thank, Thank you so much. Big fan. I'm a big fan of you guys. How's it going? Uh, it's going good, man. <laughs> nice. Going good. Things seem to be going really well for you. Uh, I've been seeing you, like, more and more. Yeah. And it seems like uh, things are happening for Tom Segura. It's been, <laughs> it's been, uh, it's been a good uh, couple of years, like, with, nice. you know, it's like steady, things moving along, just happy to be, you know, doing what I do. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the podcast is, is, is going along, and the touring has been, has been great, so nice. I feel very lucky. You guys, Netflix started giving getting into comedy was that a lot like a big game changer for you and other comedians oh for sure man because mm -hmm. I mean, when they pay more you get more re well, i got in what is considered we we're talking about how you know internet years are different <laughs> than real yeah. years yeah yes. so that first one i did completely normal i did i shot it in 2013 mm -hmm. and getting on netflix was like a consolation prize mm. Mm. that's what like people wow. now can't even imagine that but that was the goal was comedy central Oh. And Comedy Central. What year was, was that? That was we shot it in 2013. So five short years. Yeah, and when they when we shot it and uh, tried to sell it, some they were like, "Ah, eh, there's not really a theme to it." That was their note, <laughs> and we were like, "I mean, it's jokes." That's the, <laughs> yeah. theme. the theme is that it's there's jokes. <laughs> yeah. That's the theme is I'm doing stand up the whole time, huh. um, and they were like, eh. "I didn't know so, they were so critical." Then I was kind of <laughs> bummed out about that, you know, that yeah. that it was not going to be because that was like the place to be, and then. I know that I know it was sent to Showtime. I don't remember. It must have been a pass, and I don't remember any note or anything. Mm -hmm. And then I remember getting the call. They're like, uh, "Netflix is willing to take it. <laughs> They're willing. willing. <laughs> yeah, like they'll do they'll, it. They'll do that favor." <laughs> and I was like, "Hmm." And they go, "No, it's great. Like people watch mm -hmm. it all the time, mm -hmm. you know." Because it was still like, I mean, that's only five years ago, but I think that streaming was still on an upswing people were still getting dvds in the mail from them really That's five crazy. years ago oh yeah for sure i mean yeah. i feel like 2012 i remember where i was living and for sure we were doing dvds all the time wow. but 2013 wow. we were probably it's hard to I thought that was like 10 years swing. ago it's hard to no. really grasp how much change in, yeah. in five years five years i know in technology you know that's yeah. light it's, it's just it's crazy right it's 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 so many years right but but then when it went up I didn't notice that. I remember doing uh, c clubs. So I, I it shot in 2013. They started streaming in early 2014. And a few months after that, like I sold out a club one time. Mm. And this guy was like, I remember the club manager goes, I don't know what the fuck you did, but a lot of people came this week. <laughs> and I was so not thinking of the effect of the special. I was like, I don't you know what I did either. Wow. The dots. Yeah, because it had been a f like months since I shot it, and I was wow. like, I don't know why people are here. Huh. <laughs> yeah, and then it just, it was like a slow and steady increase from there. So having the exposure, because Netflix now has like half of every household in America. It's crazy now. And actually, I have to say, they promote your 
for whatever I don't know. I've seen your disgraceful, your new stand-up on yeah. the homepage all mm-hmm. like almost every time. It's I open. probably because they have you know it's really a data company and they they, they study you want. so much. Yeah. And you should see when you go a, a marketing meeting about something you have coming out, mm-hmm. the way that they market you differently in every territory. Wow. Different colors, different patterns. They'll show you on the in your yeah. last special, more people clicked on this in Brazil. You get all this people, data. Well, they don't. No, they don't provide it. They'll just give you an example. You, get, you wow. know how many people watched your no idea. Was, damn. No, they don't. They don't give Wouldn't that. Would that up. be fucking interesting? Of course, <laughs> of course. But I think this great. I think you're you're downplaying yourself a little bit because it's on trending now and like popular on Netflix is is oh really was for a long time like in the top five. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah it's been it's been a fun uh, ride with them for sure. I mean, ever you know from that time, 2013, like which we said was not that long ago, to like now. Where now they're they're more even more selective and shut people down mm-hmm. and don't and but and then to give insane offers. That's like what I was wondering. Fifty million people. to Ricky Ooh, Gervais. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did Chappelle get? Like thirty million. He got twenty million he, per. Per. And he gave him four. Yeah. I love how he bounced and then he came back and he's like, "All right, I'm collecting yeah. all the money you fuckers owed me." Yeah, and then and Seinfeld. So well Seinfeld got a nine-figure deal. He doesn't need money. So yeah, no. He wait, doesn't. wait. <laughs> For the comedian? Wait, nine figures? Yeah, he got numbers on that. Yeah. Oh, well, give yourself a minute, though. That, wait, wait, that, for comedians in Wait, hang on. Really? Well, it's Seven a, is a milli. It's a, okay. Hundred? Yeah, hundred plus. What the what? fuck? So he so got... Like you don't need any more money. It's for comedians in cars getting coffee. Uh, I think he's going to do the special that came out last year, another special, oh, right. and then another, some type of another original they bought his programming. Ass. Yeah, they're they just like, deal. give us a bunch of shit. By the Ellen, way... Ellen just oh, got, I think, 50... She's doing a special, I think, producing something else for them. Oh. I got like two hundred fifty million. <laughs> I was like, "Whoa, that's, that's a lot of, laugh- that's that's a lot of laughter." I was like, from "Whoa!" There. I was like, "Wow." <laughs> Yeah. You've been doing very no, well. No, man. I, I made less than those guys paying commissions. I am curious. <laughs> I, am curious how, I mean, they, but they, how did they pay you, like, compared to what you are doing before? Oh, I mean, look, it's, it's, it's life-changing, it's like yeah, for it's sure. Life-changing. I mean, it's not like... That's good. I'm it's glad. not that kind of... It's not the kind of money... It's not even in the stratosphere well, of those guys. Well, 100 million isn't life-changing. That's just, like... No. What do you even do with that money? I know. But, like, you know, the, the Seinfeld and those guys' money, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's nothing like that. And, by the way, nor should it be. Like, those no. guys are... Those guys are the... It's not just, like, they're, they're just... They're not just they're so famous, but that they're a they're draw. Legends. Like, I, you know, some people who get into the battle of, like, what rate somebody gets. It's like, dude, they're bringing eyeballs they're, to mm-hmm. They're platform. buying... They're essentially monopolizing yeah. all these titans. Like, yes. Nobody has any other reason... In 30, 20 years, maybe even, people are just going to say, hey, it's n-. people are going to forget that cable and television was a thing. They'll be like, hey, put on Netflix. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, from an analytical standpoint, it really is interesting to see where will things go. Show, you know? Okay. okay. So, uh, we've okay. had guests who are like, um, oh, wow. Why are you playing really Blitzy yeah, with yeah, yeah. me the whole show? No, no, I see. No? I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that dog. Okay. <laughs> um, Sorry, go ahead. But no, just to see where it'll go, because you kind of go like, you know, no one can compete with this. With this model of yeah. like paying this kind of money, right? And then you know the platform, you know how many eyeballs are already there. It's like what what will happen next? At least from stand up standpoint, you yeah. go. I mean, is are the other competitors going to do something or just? Go I don't like, know that they can afford. So to. That's what I'm saying. You're yeah. like I, they're I don't, so behind on it. Though. Yeah, they're really behind. Like from the viewer perspective, nothing can compete with it. Who can, I yeah. can roll see, down a hundred million. I can see all the specials. I I don't even have to go to a live show if I can't. You know, it's yeah. all there. It's all and there. And you put it whenever you want. There's no ads. It's like yeah. Who can it's compete? I know. And it's, it's not great. that expensive. It's not. They right. just happen to have 150 million fucking subscribers. Right. Giving them whatever, like 15 bucks a month. And you're yeah. Like, it's a lot of money, man. <laughs> Although they're like spending all of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You they know, have crazy debt. They're. Their growth has been unbelievable. Warren Buffett, I think it was Warren Buffett recently said, he's like, I cannot buy enough Netflix. Or maybe he said it about Apple and I'm completely off base. Can you guys research that for me? Thank you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, there was one joke from Disgraceful yeah. that I loved. Yeah. And there's a whole story around it, which I loved even more. Okay. Yeah. The one bit that you had that was so funny was the one about how you can't say retard that's gay or midget anymore, uh-huh. which is such a great bit because we're actually are we're similar in age. I'm 32. Uh-huh. I think you're 39, right? Yeah, you're much we, younger. We come well. Yeah. We come from a world where 
we probably both were just saying shit like that all and the time. And bombarded with it, hearing and it all exactly. the time. Exactly. Yeah, that yeah. was just, you know, yeah. and, and, and the world changed around us in a way, probably, mm-hmm. you know, like happens to every generation. Sure. But it's like they took they took it from us. Yeah, and that's what I love. Yeah, They're yeah. like, it was there. It was there. It was gone. <laughs> yeah. Darn. I love that. <laughs> um, so, but then when I found out that people were actually made a petition, you've seen this? Uh, oh, I've seen <laughs> it. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure you've come across <laughs> your Yeah, guys. yeah, yeah. About, there was a group of people, here it is on the screen, it has almost 100,000 signatures. <laughs> I was looking at this last night and it was going up before my eyes, which was cracking me up. I'm like, really? Still going up? Go ahead. Tick up. I guess yeah. they it, it, Just last night it was going up as I was looking it's at It's going to go up right now. Right. That we're live. Right. <laughs> um, Gonna get a lot of meme signatures. No, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, I like, I mean, look, it's, I, I know all about this. One of the things about the transcription of the show being in there mm-hmm. is that it shows like audience laughter. It did. It, so it's like they're including that people are laughing the whole Those, time. But, they and by the yeah. way, they're a problem too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we look, get the idea I understand, like, people, I, I went through this so heavily. It's like, I get why people get upset by like hearing trigger mm-hmm. words and stuff but you know the first line of that bit is you can't, can't say, say retarded exactly. anymore that's what and people would message me and, and say you know you can't say retarded anymore and I go that's what I said that's the, that, that yep, is that yeah. bit. the premise yeah <laughs> that's the setup to that I, the I just love yeah. that you can't even talk about how you can't talk about it anymore yeah it's it kind of per- it was uh, the perfect moment of outrage <laughs> yeah it was just like it was a, there was a mm. lot of outrage and uh yeah i, I mean I, I knew listening to it that there would be it's like just so obvious but it's then i i met with uh, with somebody who was who was pretty outraged like they mm. i talked to them about which word about this this whole the, the whole the whole, the whole bit okay and they would go you know that petition also cl- calls for the uh the trailer to be taken down everything yeah and the trailer they miss interpreted as being about this hmm. when oh. the joke in that is about another so they didn't joke. Even watch this <laughs> yeah so like then and then they were telling me they're like in this meeting and they're like uh i think a lot of us got outraged we got we reacted to the reaction in other words we didn't look at it we didn't look it up That's we didn't watch just it lovely and i go and i'm sitting there like <laughs> don't you feel like you should own that <laughs> yeah. like that you didn't watch it yeah and then you got mad yeah and they're like kind of yeah <laughs> okay but then they made this point to me that i kind of understood they go yeah but it helped further our agenda so us going after you even if it was not an entirely strangely self-aware mm. yeah they go it, it still helped bring awareness to what our ultimate goal is so even if we miss the miss and the mark a little bit means. kind of yeah so they're good that's they're somewhat good. Number that's one. i mean i you know i don't that's here's the thing you can't feel bad for yourself uh when the when the group is this group and you go look you have it hard enough already mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but but they also were like we understand that the joke wasn't to target you mm-hmm. and shit on you it just happened to be about words and language, yeah. Yeah. and it got spun into this. So, like, I don't, I don't feel bad for myself. I understand that you, what you're trying to do, but it wasn't lined up the way that <laughs> they initially thought it was, and it was. I mean, even uh, even in the joke, you're like, well, we didn't say it like that, right? Right. <laughs> I gave the specific example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We weren't like, look at that guy. Right. Which is, I think, exactly what you said. Which and, and like, I, I pretty much, it's I don't true. think I can recall a time where. Growing up, or for that, anybody was like pointing at someone. Yeah, pointing someone with, yeah. and being like that guy. Yeah, it was always like to you. Yeah, you know, it's like <laughs> Ethan, yeah. the fuck, man. And then you know, yeah. you say it to your friend about something they did. Right. But then, of course, the reaction to that is like, yeah, but you're just perpetuating, um, you know, a hateful thing if you're right. saying, you know, mm. whatever. But that's that's how language <clears> and things <throat> change and progress mm. over time. Words take on different meanings. Something mm-hmm. becomes unacceptable and pejorative and it goes away of course the other conversation is then it's then replaced with another word or term sure mm-hmm. so what that happens with all slurs and all all words it's like we will outgrow <laughs> this word and then there There's will be a new yeah, word yeah. you know like um the one specifically that really blows my mind yeah is like you, you can't say midget anymore like i i left the israel for five years yeah i came back the world changed <laughs> i couldn't say midget anymore yeah little people Right. I was like, that sounds way more condescending. It sounds demeaning. Like, hey, little guy. Yeah. And uh, by the way, I have I mean, met, I, 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 I yeah. know little people who find it demeaning. Little person. Yes. Okay. What do they prefer? Um, 
some of them just don't even want to be. Which makes the most just sense. Not don't, even. Just don't I'm even just address. A right. Just a guy. Just that don't. Makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, it is, you know, I guess voluntary on their part. I mean, I like I know most people I know, black guys, girls, where are cool with black, but there are those who say like, call me African American. Mm -hmm. It's like their own. Voluntary yeah. Somehow thing people to say. have different preferences. People have different. It's wild. Everybody <laughs> has different totally preferences. Has. But yeah. yeah, I mean, I do. I agree that little people. Can I was sound. like, whoa. Yeah. I think I said midget somehow in passing, and I, and they're like, it's little. Like people are super angry. Yeah. I was like, what? Are you kidding me? I had to do some research and look it up, and I was like, sure enough, little. I find that group to have people. a much better sense of humor, though, the for little, the most part. The little mm -hmm. people. Yes. Right. Yeah. There are other, groups that the, have more a good mm -hmm. sense of humor. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Mexicans, for example. <laughs> Mexicans are killing it. Yeah, they like, always You know laugh. what? I've heard yes. that. I've heard that. I heard yeah. that from Alex. Oh. He's like, you know, Mexicans, they never get they never get upset. They love it. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, for the most part. How what's your I mean, how have you discovered that? You met you have you just said doing shows just for years. You the made people have seen and like, like I've done shows with Mexico, hey man, fuck with me. Like they're just like <laughs> Oh, they love it. Yeah, man, like light me up, dog. And you're that? like, All right, it's LA. They <laughs> just wanna go for it. Yeah. Can I ask you who's the most sensitive? Can we go there? I mean, there's there's a uh, I don't know older lesbians. There's uh, there's just oh, groups. That's a tight knit community. <laughs> there's just you know it's funny because like we live in such a quote liberal progressive city. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the most liberal progressive people are not funny. <laughs> they don't. They right. take right. themselves so too serious. seriously. They have like that activist you no, know there's mentality. No, yeah, there's no humor, there's no in, humor that. in that shit. No. You know, I mean, I'd rather do, like, rednecks than that <laughs> any day of the week if you're talking about doing a show. Right. Because they're going to laugh at more shit. Do you, you can pay, make fun of them, you know. Do you have these days uh, problems at shows where people are getting upset and walking out or causing a scene? If it's my, like, if they bought a ticket to my show, that doesn't really happen. Yeah. If you just pop in mm. on a show, I've had it happen a few times mm. in L.A., mm. you know, because or they're not. other places. Yeah, but not, a, I mean. Not a lot. I mean, L you know, LA's, LA's pretty good, actually, for, for mm. stand-up. You know, the comedy store is amazing, mm. the improv, but, like, the store every night is just crazy with, with just comedy fans that want to see stand-up. Most of them going to that are not going to be the type to be like, ah, yeah. that crossed the line, because they, <laughs> yeah. they kind of know where they're going. Right. They know, they see the lineup. They know what type of people are on the lineup. You know, I heard Bill Burr say something interesting on his podcast. He said, like, now, when I go on stage, I'm saying crazier shit mm -hmm. than I ever did. Because we are craving it now, because, yeah. right? Yeah, that's and and said, you also it. said it in an interview, I think I read, where you, Oh, they you want, want it. It's a release. It all is, it's all connected, though. I mean, I think it's connected to, you know, even, it goes to, like, who's in power, um, what that stands for, what the blowback is against mm -hmm. who, you know, who they're pushing back against, and then that permeates the feelings of people in public and then in shows and it just it, it's this it's it's in the air you feel it yeah. go back and forth just like you feel a red or blue swing in That's office so interesting and mm -hmm. it all kind of ties in together there's a lot going on mm -hmm. in stand up they're like the social oh yeah commentators yes and like everything that's going on all the little fabrics of society are really channeling through what you guys do absolutely yeah and then you can feel you sense it man that like if if you're if you are like, if you feel like, oh my God, we're we're losing, this country's falling apart, blah blah, you 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 tend to take like a more serious approach to everything, mm -hmm. and then that person also takes a serious approach to commentary, mm -hmm. you know. And so, but then there's a whole other group of people who are like, that's too much. We're losing our minds if we're getting. Yeah. And then those are the ones who want you to say that everything. ill shit. <laughs> so they, yeah, they come to the shows wanting it to be like. How come you didn't offend us more? You know, I've had people email <laughs> me. Funny. They're like, I really thought well, like you were gonna push it harder. And you're like, I'm just doing stand up. And they're like, my thing. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, I really was hoping you would like go harder. And I was like, okay. Good note. Yeah. Good note, Good note man. And you know, another one that that blew me, me away was like the same thing. We went to Israel and we came back. We had 4G LTE, and there were certain words I couldn't say. Those were the and things. Uber. And Uber. I left. When I came back, there was Uber. Oh, right. You know what Uber was. So that was new to you? Yeah. yeah. Isn't that funny, man? <laughs> Five years you were gone? Five years. That's a long time, though. Five years? I, yeah, it is a long, it's longer than I thought. I came back, expected everything to be normal. I remember studying abroad for a semester, 
in Spain and coming <laughs> back and being like, have you heard this song? And people were like, that song's been out for a fucking long time, bro. Right. And like, and feeling like things were like, right. I was like, what happened? Like the country just yeah. like escaped me. I just, I don't know what happened. But five years feels significant. I didn't realize, you know, I guess I was keeping my head down and, and slamming away. Because yeah. Israel is kind of connected, so you don't mm -hmm. feel that, like, you're not, like... Culturally, you're not. Yeah. Well, I guess I was. But I guess you are still this... How long... Country. Wait, what years were you gone? It was actually, I know, because I recently looked it up, it was Nine, 2010 14. to 2015. Yeah, something like that. And that's when you came back? Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, that, that, bro, you just got here. <laughs> I guess we've only been here for three years. Oh my God, yeah, shit, man. But and you guys were doing this in Israel. Yeah, yeah we, we started in Israel. Yeah, that's really. Right. I quit my job. I was working full time. I quit my job because we were just making YouTube videos at the time. And I was like, hey, let's give it a shot. You know. And you guys seem so like down to earth and and sincere. Are you blown away by what you've created and and the following? Yes. Yeah, it's per. It, it's lately, really especially, we're like dealing with a lot of like mental barriers because it's like all of a sudden you're like, wait, what is my life? Yeah. Like, what weird, happened? Yeah. It's <laughs> do, do people close to you get it? What's going on? Like, do you know? I mean, family. They they do now. They do. It now. took a while. Ela's dad hated what I what I did. He's like a hard school, old well, school Israel. What really made it... He's like, you married this fucking clown? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically worse than Basically. That. That's a nice way to put really? it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's a very nice... I wish he said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Tell me. He's hardcore. What did he tell you? Um, Do you remember the worst things he said stuff, about me? All kinds of stuff, like... I'm embarrassed to tell people that, that was the best. that's my son-in-law. Really? He things said, like that. Because yeah. of what? Be because of personality? Because or what you, The videos we were putting the out at the time. It was like... <laughs> well, there was one video was back like in the day. It was like cringy sketches. Was, <laughs> there was one video back in the day. It's so funny. At the time... Uh, <laughs> You're like, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> well, it never bothered me that much because... I don't know. No, wait, wait, wait. Have, but there was one video at the it's time good that, yeah. that was uh, Shake That Thing. Mm -hmm. John Paul was very popular. So I said, hey, yeah. let's make a parody, Shake That Dick. Because, you know, sure. hey, let's get some dick out there. I want mm -hmm. full representation, right? This is the new world. Right. And so there was just a lot of close-up of my dick shaking, shaking in basketball <laughs> shorts. We made a lot of videos, but that happened to be the one. Yeah. And I just, saw. I just put it on my Facebook. Yeah. At the time, I didn't really... That no no one was following us, really. Maybe, yeah. like, I don't know, 100 people. That was a bad one. But I put it on my Facebook, and then my dad saw it. Yeah. And that after that, he was really mad. I blocked him on Facebook. Are you serious? Like, he was really mad? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. what about when he would face-to-face? -face? Was it cool to you? Well, the, well he the, doesn't speak English, okay. so that's kind of what actually helps sometimes because he they can't talk to I don't to speak him. Hebrew, he doesn't speak English. You don't speak any Hebrew? I mean, a little bit, but little not bit. enough to like, you know. But what he just like, It's like not... you said about people who say they speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. like, no, you don't. He okay. can order food in a restaurant. Yeah. That's, okay. what he... <laughs> That's what you got out of five if years? If I told you I speak <laughs> Hebrew, I'd, I'd be lying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so. But yeah, my favorite one was he said, <laughs> basically, I'm not going to tell anyone that he's my son-in-law anymore. Wow. And, I, think, an I think the worst one was like if I see another video like that, he, he's not gonna step in the house. Oh, I didn't it, know that. It was that's something bad. like that. Okay, so that's shake this dick though, right? Or shake that dick? That whatever. was probably. Oh, you've got to shake that dick, but I don't know that we can show that. I don't want to. Very show it. You guys can find it's it. It's very graphic. What about <laughs> um, that aside? Was he still upset? Like you're making videos? Like this is just a stupid thing that that yeah. that you guys are doing? I mean, aside from the dick, like the dick I'm thing I get, look, I he, sees it's, he sees yeah. it as vulgar. It's just, you know, my dad is very unpleased with everything in life. Uh -huh. So it was just another thing, like, I don't understand what you guys are doing, so I'm not approving of that. And what about now? So now... Loves it. Loves it. I'll tell you what. Proud. Money helps people understand. Right. Now we're, like, successful, so it's like, we can afford I'm proud of you guys now. bucket hats now. That's right. <laughs> it's just... That's fucked up. But if we, you know, it's pretty simple. Like, so now that you made he it, he's it. like, cool. He yeah. loved it. <laughs> but that makes sense. He doesn't. It it's a, sense. it's a different world. He doesn't understand what we're doing. Especially mm -hmm. when I quit my job, I had like yeah. a decent job. I was like, you know. Now, do you guys feel like? Do you feel like you are uh, <laughs> parallel to show business, being 
the 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 lane in other words being youtube and 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 you know what i mean or do you feel like you're right there in it and some people because it is like so massive mm-hmm. um you know it's undeniable mm-hmm. and you're in the entertainment capital does it feel like you're just a, a you know right next to no i got TV, feel, you know i don't feel parallel yeah feel it's like, a whole different beast. just a different beast because like nobody is involved with what we do uh-huh. It's just us. We don't have any Which is executives. the best. We don't have any it's the best part of I podcasting, mean, period. I, I take it for granted because we've never had it any other way. But like all of our videos, everything we do, we have a clothing company. There's nobody. That's what no I came investors. for. Mm-hmm. I came for that Teddy Fresh swag, dude. Oh, really? you didn't know the Teddy Fresh? Ah. <laughs> that's why I'm here, man. God bless. We got, we have, we're swagged out. The shirt Swag I'm it up, today. dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, well, at any rate, um, it feels different. It feels different. And I guess... Mo- mostly because there's not nobody's really crossing over mm-hmm. like traditional media is not really uh, they're not really understanding it no yet, and they're not really tapping into it I think that they're You're just ahead of the game on it all man I don't know I feel I feel we have a lot to offer like I think that when a guest comes on our show mm-hmm. the press and publicity and like exposure that they get is way more than like Jimmy Kimmel for example I feel like that's measurably factually true <laughs> but for some <laughs> reason true. yeah you know you'll do you have do, there's no trouble getting people though do they they have to see what you guys do and be like oh my god mm, we, we just have don't trouble. have the we don't have the contacts we don't have the mean yeah. you know we don't, we don't have, have all those channel. channels that like you get we're gonna talk about something <laughs> so, <okay>. maybe <laughs> oh yeah Doug. yeah but I also think part of it is just that we, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The podcast is only a year old, so it's not, it doesn't have like deep roots or anything. But yeah. The, well, the whole thing's on, you, like 2013, bro, that's what we talk, right? <laughs> yeah. it's, Five years. It's, it's crazy. Shit, you could say, you could, you could almost say a retard back then. Almost. <laughs> almost. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer the R word. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they dragged you. I want to talk to you about. Do you know about the M word? What's the M word? Marijuana. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. There was what? this whole video about. Uh, Wait, we're, can you pull it we're up, editing Dan? that? We're editing marijuana down? So, yeah, Dan, pull up some that. Some people were uh, trying. Part. I don't know. The... When? Now? Because it was racist against Mexican Americans because <laughs> marijuana is, um, is Spanish, I guess. Marijuana. He uh-huh. Says. Uh-huh. And so they. Marijuana. Was, yeah. 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 It was used to discriminate, to demonize Mexicans. <clears throat> Mexicans eat marijuana for breakfast. Well, that's. Okay, well, I guess, here, here you go. I'll give you a little taste of the, uh, of the Ask beauty. The term was racist Stop ass saying ass. marijuana. <laughs> Why? Because it's racist this. ass what? The term was used Rogers to knock on people ass. of color and their devilish ways. Now, the word itself isn't inherently racist, but it was used by American prohibitionists to okay. exploit yeah, racism and okay. this, going. this is why people are losing their minds. Exactly. And, and, <laughs> and coming to the Bill Burr show and being like, say some wild shit. Yeah. Because this is... It, there's another one where I go, is this a parody video? Uh, the digital blackface one? Mm-hmm. Did you see right. that one? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I made a video about we it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. I, I was like, is I this a... real? Is this... Oh, yeah. No, that one's and it's and unbelievable. By the way, <laughs> I keep hearing about it. Like, I heard it on BBC about, like, digital mm-hmm. blackface, like these guests. I have a whole art, alter ego that I don't called Whiteface Man that I cover <sighs> myself in, like, my... Ma- Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, the craziest part about the, like, the commentary... It's fantastic. <laughs> the craziest part about the commentary about digital blackface was that, you know, it says something... She says something like... Stop and think before you send that gif right. yeah. of uh, of you know Kevin Hart mm-hmm. right. to your friend. Uh, it's not that's not for our amusement entertainment, and it's like that's Kevin how you Hart know who that is. is. It's because he's, <laughs> he's here inter- for our amusement and well, entertainment. And, and, and like, it's not it's not like you're just taking random footage of black dudes on the street. No, he's an entertainer. Yeah, yeah. that's a thing from his special, <laughs> yeah. which he wants Michael you to Jackson. see to laugh at. Oh man! They yeah. they kept showing entertainers. <laughs> By the way, the whole the whole statement that, of like that thing looks crazy. That guy being like, "That's racist as fuck." Yeah. To say marijuana. So he his point anyway is that like let's say call the M word, and if you really want to be politically correct, call it cannabis. Okay, I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah. So just for the record, marijuana works. Yeah. yeah, let's yeah. not take that one away. I think we should start all <laughs> emphasizing that it's marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, let's let's throw it to a quick break. 
Okay. And we will be right back with the great, hilarious, and wonderful Tom Skura. All the specials out on Netflix, and he's out on tour. Guys, we'll be right back. <laughs> you have definitely heard me talking about MeUndies. You know, the fun, comfy undies that feel as good as they look. Hila, exhibit A, please. To those of you who haven't tried them, listen up. You can get incredible underwear sent to your door with MeUndies, meaning no more hunting around for the perfect pair at a crowded store and eventually settling for good enough. MeUndies are made with a sustainably sourced material from beechwood trees. People, we are cutting down forests to bring you these underwear. Okay? I don't know. That that I don't know. I'm kidding. <laughs> but beach, it sounds exotic. I'll say that. Their naturally soft fiber make a fabric that won't snag down or ride up. And trust me, once you put on a pair... You'll get it. Now, what I'd like to say is please turn to Exhibit B, Hila, to show us how flexible and breathable and rideable these undies are. Hit it! Yeah! That's an atomic wedgie. That's the H3 Atomic Wedgie Challenge. Get a pair of me undies and give yourself an atomic wedgie and send us pictures because I guarantee it doesn't even hurt. Wow, you got, like, everything tucked right in there, eh, Hila? Yeah, I'm telling you, you can tuck everything right in there, and you won't even notice. It's the atomic wedging challenge. It's almost like giving your genitals a massage. Am I right, Ela? Yes. There you have it. You're from <laughs> from the mouth, from her mouth itself. Mandy's a show show. You're gonna love your first pair. That if you're not happy, they'll do whatever you can, they can to get you into the right pair. And if they can't, keep them, and you'll they'll refund you. So it really is risk free to try the best underwear ever made. And if you're already part of the MeUndies fam, tell your friends about it through the referral program. They'll get a discount, and you'll get store credit. Win, win. Mother How efforts. About that? Offer? How about this? For first-time purchasers, get 15% off their first pair of MeUndies That's and free shipping. 15. One five, mother effers. That's 15% off plus free shipping and a guarantee that you and your MeUndies will be very happy together. So get your butts over to MeUndies.com. And treat yourself. To get 50% off your first pair, Ela, go ahead and atomic wedge you one more time. 50% off your first pair, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction. Guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, you could tuck your head right in there if you wanted to. That's how breathable and flexible these are. These are, I'm wearing like Ethan's underwear. Go to meundies.com slash h3. I just want to get the URL in there. <laughs> meundies.com slash h3. That's meundies.com slash h3. It's going to take your junk. It's going to smooth it out. I have this problem. My junk's everywhere. It itches. It chafes. The belt line f messes up my skin. This doesn't do that because it's soft. It's made from beechwood tree. Give yourself an atomic wedgie. You're going to love it. Thank you to Hims for sponsoring this episode. Sexual performance issues are more common than you think, Gila. Okay. And, and you experience it a lot. <laughs> Over 25% of new ED cases are guys under 40. That's shocking. 40% of men by the age 40 struggle from not being able to get a fat, hard cock to put in a hole. Even the world's greatest actors can't fake one. Why do you guys turn to weird solutions or do nothing when you can turn instead to medicine and science that can inject some energy into your cock? Flow your blood. Tone it down. Yeah. Tone it down. Okay. Just makes just, your blood flow. <laughs> it's just It makes your blood flow to your penis. <laughs> Forhims.com, a one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, sexual wellness for men. Thanks to science, ED can be optional. Hims connects you with real doctors and medical-grade solutions to treat your limp dick. Well-known generic equivalents to name-brand prescriptions to help you combat ED. This is not snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. I, I see those all the time at the gas stations. Dragon Bill. Mm -hmm. It's like 20 yeah. bucks. It's like the weirdest <laughs> shit from China. God. God forbid, the desperate man who actually eats whatever We have that. one that we bought just because of the packaging. Yeah. It's like 3D. It is not that. <laughs> Prescription solutions backed by science. So there's no waiting room, no awkward doctor visit, no lines. Save hours by going to forhims.com. So easy. Answer a few quick questions and chat with a doctor for a confidential review. Products are shipped directly to your door. Being your best means performing your best with a fat, raging boner. I don't know if it does. 
I think it, I don't know what it does. Well, how would I know? What it does is... Go ahead, Dr. Klein. Dr. It Yoda helps Klein. relax blood vessels and improves blood flow to your penis. <laughs> what are you reading? <laughs> I'm reading from, your, from their website. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. To allow for a harder and long-lasting erection. Longer lasting. Ela si- is thinking about <laughs> signing me up for this. <laughs> <laughs> no in-person doctor visit, not anymore. It's erectile with other dysfunction. Hard made easy. Say hello to your little friend. <laughs> they tell me to say that. It's pretty creepy, but I'll do it. <laughs> Call to action. Try M's for a month today for just five doll hairs. I said doll hairs, but they do expect money from you. <laughs> we'll get you started for just five bucks while supplies last. See website for full details. This would cost hundred of bucks if you went to a doctor or a pharmacy. So go to forhims.com slash h3ed. That's F-O-R-H-I-M-S dot com slash H3ED, forhims dot com slash H3ED to get that blood flowing and get that cock. What What is the word, Ela? Flowing. What was that, Dan? Going. 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 You had a rhyme going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thanks to them. The truth is most of us are brushing our teeth wrong, not for long enough, and forget to change our brush on time. That's because most brands focus on selling flashy gimmicks rather than better brushing but not quip so what makes quip so different let me tell you for starters <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good you did good where are we quip is an electric toothbrush nice <laughs> that's a fraction of the cost is the camera on me or Ela? <laughs> shouldn't be on it's you, on you. <laughs> okay good um, I think you should take it oh, from take here. Oh, take it from here. <laughs> Listen, y'all know I have to give Quip a ceremonial entrance, an uh, angelic one, if you will, because this toothbrush not only changed my life, but it changed the world. Why do you think Oprah's got it on her oh list? <laughs> it's not because it's a vibrating tube with multi-purpose. Oh list. This toothbrush changed my life and the world. Let me tell you why. It's slick. It's modern. It's affordable. It gives you the best brush possible. I'm obsessed with oral hygiene. If my mouth is gross or anyone else I'm with, I'll judge you. I swear to God, I will judge you. Okay? So don't be that guy. Get this toothbrush. It gives you a perfect brush, vibrating, wonderful. It tells you when to switch sides so you always know that you're getting the perfect brush. Now I know why Oprah was like, oh, it's quick. It's the toothbrush. That's killing it and will change your life forever. Okay? What else? Quip starts at just $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash change three right now, you'll get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free. Get, you know how they always like <laughs> at the end of commercials. Get get Quip. Com slash slash three. Three. <laughs> no, you're supposed to accentuate that part. It's G E T Q U I P dot com slash H three. Get quip dot com slash H three. I guarantee it. You go try this toothbrush. You're gonna be hearing this music every morning. <laughs> Thank you to Quip. Wow, those were some really good sponsor reads, right, Ela? All right, killing it. You guys did great. I want to <laughs> ask you. I love this uh, story. I heard you tell about. How you almost got pitched as Jared's <laughs> oafish, slobbish, younger, meatball-eating brother. <laughs> and I, I, I love this story so much because basically you were like, you thought it was your big break. I knew it was my big break. <laughs> right. I knew I was 25. Mm. Imagine you're 25, mm-hmm. you're doing a day job here. Mm-hmm. What were you doing at the time? I was working in post as a, uh, oh. on reality shows. You were editing? No, I wasn't editing. I was, um, at first I was a logger, like transcribing. What is a logger? There's so many jobs that yeah, people say, even know it's what that crazy. is. It's <laughs> It's the worst job. You want to blow Just your brains out. Just writing shit. No, no, they send you the raw tape. So they, you know, when they shoot a reality that show, 24-7 footage? cameras run. So they send you, every single tape comes in and is transcribed verbatim so that when the story department puts together a reality show, an episode, they can manipulate all the footage so to, you're just to fill the story line. every dumb thing they said if you wow. say i don't know uh <laughs> i guess i'll go i have to write i don't know oh uh I, like that <laughs> wow and then you know they they do these things called frankenbites you know that's where you cut 
a line mid sentence and piece something else together to it so that That's you can say <laughs> that it's an actual term because we Franken bits because we always say like this is a Frankenstein sequence you know when we have an episode when we just fucked it up totally yeah, yeah. I mean, they building them all they do yeah. horrific stuff with it you know because you would say like I love Shredder and then I hate you know I pumpkin don't know pie. pumpkin pie and then they'll cut it to be like, I hate Shredder. And, wow. like, and then everyone in the audience is like, that guy hates his dog. And then they show you know? reactions from other people from a different clip. Oh like, my yeah, God. exactly. And then that's, that's the episode awesome. that airs. And then the reaction, people are like, oh my God. I always yeah. think about that because it's like, you're filming people doing nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got, it needs work. It yeah. needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of work. Then those, there's people who in that lane, that is their specialty. <laughs> The, you know, it's the story department wow. on reality Dr. shows. Dr. Frankenstein. They fucking Frankenbite so that shit up. So you were just typing So I'm that? just typing uhs and ums. Yeah, and it really <laughs> sounds like really rough. It's horrible. And I'm doing stand-up at night and then going on sometimes on commercial auditions. Mm. And I go on this one <laughs> and uh, I got a call back, which I thought was cool. And then they're like, hey, this isn't just for a commercial. This is for a campaign. Mm. Meaning this will be airing... Absolutely. Massively and all the time, and it'll build and grow. And then the next thing they tell me is like, it's going to be, it's with Subway. And the idea is you're going to be Jared's brother, <laughs> Jared Fogel from Subway. And, and Jared, because he lost like 500 pounds, can only promote healthy subs. <laughs> and we need someone that can promote unhealthy subs. I love that angle and so you much. look like you can do that. I love that. I love yeah. how it's like so direct. Like, and at first, you know, when they told here. me that, I was like, yeah, great. <laughs> and they're like, so he'll be like, get the turkey sub. And you'll be like, get the chicken parm. And like, <laughs> that'll be the ad. Yeah. And then they go, and you're going to be like his derelict <laughs> fucking psycho brother. So I go to this one audition where this is like now the third or fourth, because this is a <laughs> huge commitment mm -hmm. from them. This one, it's like all improv, and they're having me improvise, <laughs> and with like this director who What do you, is, do they have you, would you know what your outfit would have been? No, because at, at first they just go, oh, they're just like, you know, just show up and you're a pig, basically, you know. <laughs> so I'm just wearing a t-shirt and, and jeans, and, and I'm riffing, and I, and I remember my friend drove me to the audition. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't know why he drove me, but he was outside and I left. And he goes, you're booking this job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I go, why? He goes, man, they were laughing in there so hard. And I was like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. So we leave and then I have another callback and it's with the director and it's just weird. It just doesn't, it's just weird. He's like, <laughs> like, do what I tell you to do, do, okay? Be like, uh, hey, yeah, this tastes pretty good. Go ahead. You want me to say, yeah. hey, that tastes pretty hey, no, good? No, no, no. Say, hey, that tastes pretty good. Hey, that. No, say, hey, like, hey, like, hey, that oh, tastes pretty good. Hey. Hey, that tastes hey. pretty good. Hey. That's how he's talking oh, to me hey. during it. So I'm like, I'm sitting there like, uh, this guy's cutting me off every other sentence <laughs> to say, like, things taste good, you know? Like, it's not like I'm doing a take and he's like, try it from this angle. He's doing line reads as I do them. So I just go, all right. And I walk out of there. I'm like, that was one of the weirdest experiences. It just huh. didn't feel... You know, like human this human interaction. No, and it wasn't good chemistry. It wasn't good a good vibe. I leave, whatever, and the next day mm. uh, I get a call, and they're like, "So, we heard it didn't go well in there." And I was like, um, <laughs> "What I, did they want from you?" I don't it's know. Like, what could you have done? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, tastes you, good. You go high enough. I started to do it like that, like like. <laughs> like He's a <laughs> Tastes really good. Is that it? And so, then they're like, um, "But you did so well on the audition before that, and the producers and the advertisers are so on board with you from that that you booked it." I, I love like, that they're like the director yeah, hates you. The director hates you, but you got the job. Yeah, yeah. And then they go, "I'll just tell you. I don't think I've ever said it, but so the the, the what I got was." A guarantee of 250 grand oh. for the whole campaign. No, no, no. Just like be for shooting this and having one air. Wow. Wow. But that's then a, that's some cheddar. Then as soon as the residuals exceed, so no more money until the residuals exceed 250, and then you get residual checks, mm. and then I'll start getting checks uh, for live appearances where Jared and I will go that to like is subway so insane <laughs> insane and Jared holds up his pants What did they pay for live uh, appearance? I don't know. I think they were saying like you were gonna get something like 10 or 15 grand a pop. Just to show up. 
But mind you, your subway thing. I'm 25 years yeah. old transcribing that's things. That's huge. Oh, you know, I'm getting, I'm getting like $600 a week to do that. Yeah. So when I when they book it, they go, you know, I, I'm kind of waiting for it to come together, and then they decide we're going to start shooting commercials in Jersey. So they fly me out. We shoot three commercials over the course of like a week. What were you wearing? I'm really curious. <laughs> so the first ad... Were they just like, be yourself? Oh, man. If, you know... Um, <laughs> no, they're like, hey! <laughs> you know that song, Round and Round? Yeah. Round and yeah. Round. I forget who sings right, that. Right Round, baby, right? You guys, they'll tell us. Not right, right, not right baby. Oh. But, uh, round. It's like a Isn't rock it rat song. or something? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Rat. Yes. So I pull up in a Trans Am. This song is playing. And they're having a family reunion and I pull up that song's playing and I have like a leather vest on wow. and like maybe like a like a leather wrist thing and wow. some chains love it and oh as I God. pull into the it's like a park mm -hmm. and they're having the family reunion I kind of half pull onto a curb you know like I pull too <laughs> far it. yeah and then I get out and I'm like you're almost like a bad boy yeah kind of a bad boy but Little totally chicken, chicken parmesan eating pad boy yeah <laughs> <laughs> the chicken know, part, bad thing. boy, <laughs> kind of, uh, but also lost and kind of. I'm like, where's everybody at? You know, you know like what's weird of, about this angle. Yeah, like who's gonna want to be that guy? They're like eat chicken parm like this guy. Right. It's a weird angle. That is a weird angle. And like you want to be this guy and kind of and he and they're kind of not kind of they are being telling me like be be dumb. You're kind of the. <laughs> You're the goofy brother, right? That's like that hasn't seen Jared in a while. Of course, <laughs> the name. Yeah. You're estranged from the family. Yeah, Estra the, yeah. The name. And now you just came back to eat bad food. <laughs> so, oh, that's so funny. And then of course they gave me. Uh, oh, the name. Yeah. You're Jared's brother, Jerome. That story. Um, is so funny. And which is you know, and, and I, the fact that I brought up to them, I was like, eh, that's a black. That was a risky name. play. I have to say, were you nervous about bringing up? Because you said to the producers or the director. Yeah. Jerome seems like a black name. Yeah, Just let you guys know. Yeah, so they came back nervous? with Jermaine. No, they. I was. I was not nervous to tell them that. I was not nervous. You felt like you were doing the right thing. I just thought I was. I go like, we're about to launch onto a. This is going to be what people yell at me on the street for years. <laughs> right, right. And you know, they told me they go. You know, we're shooting three right now. We're slated to do ten. If these have any, these are Jared's in them. So if this is following the trajectory, mm. you're just going to be shooting like. 30 commercials a year or whatever your life. for a year. And I'm like, Jerome? I'm like, dude, come on. Right. So I just told him, like, dude, that's a black guy's name. Like, right. it is. And, I mean, I know the, the people would be like, it could be anybody's name. That's true. So can Connor. That could be anybody's name. But <laughs> sure. it's not. It's yeah. a fucking white guy's name. Yeah. So <laughs> they go, all right, uh, you know. We'll think about it. We'll talk. I don't know, we'll talk to you. And then they came back and they were like, "We think you're right." I love that they, they yeah. the great minds yeah. came together. The subway they minds. Crunched the number. <laughs> They're like yeah. we have indeed confirmed that we have confirmed. Excuse black. Excuse black. <laughs> um, you nailed it. <laughs> Anyone could have it. Yeah, but it's but excuse black. Excuse black. Yeah, we got you a new name. My name's Jermaine. <laughs> so funny. And I just I sat there and I was like, <laughs> I go. Are you serious? And they they go, yeah. I'm like, this is ten times blacker. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, that's your name. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Jermaine's here. Everybody. Made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> Way worse. <laughs> Which was like, okay. So then we just uh, we shot that one in the park. Then we shot one where I was like, oh yeah, I remember. Um, uh, I was having. A, I had a basement band. I was like, guys, come on. And like, you know, I had the, like, we were just like a shitty basement band. I was the lead man. Mm -hmm. um, and like, Jared would show up and be like, what are you doing, Jermaine? <laughs> and I'm like, fucking, let's eat. <laughs> I don't remember how it went. <laughs> let's eat, but Jared. We, we shot oh my God. that one. I'm trying to remember there was another one. And then it was just, um, you know, then you're just like playing the waiting game. Like, I flew back. Mm -hmm. I'm like, they pay for those? Cause well, you, I got paid all the, the, day rate stuff okay. to do those the 250 grand i would get as soon as the first one right. aired right mm -hmm. and it was like a few <laughs> months later and i remember one of my friends texted me he was like sucks about subway he found out before oh. you uh-huh really? and i go what do you mean he's like uh <laughs> you're not doing those ads i'm like how do you know that <laughs> wait was this the sex scandal no oh no this is way I, before so how did that. you know I don't know how he found out, but what happened was the VP of marketing yeah. retired. Oh. The new VP came in 
and he wasn't down with it. Well, he just killed everything that that guy was doing. Wow. wow. It was the greatest thing that ever happened. He was to me. the like, this is insane. <laughs> no, like, no. They were just like, I've, we're new, there's a new marketing team. And that's, it's very common right. in huh. corporate world where if the new guy doesn't want your old idea to succeed, yeah. you know, he wants it to be on, yeah. on him. Yeah. So, and, especially, and if it sucks, he, can, he can't be, you know, he got to be like, oh, I, I scratched that. Yeah. But, anyways, I informed my agent. I called him and I was like, so the subway thing's not happening? He goes, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I just read this article. And then he called me back. He's like, "Yeah, <laughs> I just called him." And they did that break me. your heart at the time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't like this, you know, life-changing breakup thing. Where, I, but I remember just being like, "Wow, that was right here, and it's gone." Yeah. Two hundred like, thousand. I mean, my yeah, God. that. But in retrospect, surely you're just like, "Thank <laughs> Come God." Come on, Jermaine. Jermaine. <laughs> Everybody been like, "Eat fresh, man!" As I walk down the streets, and I'm right. like, "Yep." <laughs> but yeah. not only that. I mean, you'd be associated with oh, yeah. the greatest Fogel, the greatest Fogel of all time, <laughs> Mr. Fogel. I hung out with him after one of those shoots. Oh, you get a weird vibe. What was Fogel like in person? Yeah, I mean, not, I, I can't. I mean, he's not not just like a normal just, loose dude. Kind, of, you know, I don't know how to describe. I mean, I mean he's one of those guys that should have never became famous. Anyway. Yeah, it's weird that he's so famous. Like, what's interesting? I think about it's you. right. Uh, um, I think. He's just so used to being probably looked at mm -hmm. and asked for a picture or something, <laughs> and there's not a lot behind that. You know, you know, it's just because he lost weight and he's on these commercials. So yeah. he's just kind of like. What did you think when you heard those tapes? Were you like surprised or were you like, Ooh. dude? I just remember. I remember. You know, the I rem the things I remember was that like for the for the commercials that I got a shitty trailer, like a real shitty one, and he had like a multi million dollar bus. God. And he was like. <laughs> Do you want to come on this bus? And I was like, I want to see it for sure. Yeah. yeah. And I got on. I remember it just had. It was in the summer in Jersey that we were shooting these commercials, and his his bus had like sixty degree AC on it. And I was like, Can I stay in here? That's for a while? Yeah. It was. I remember that was amazing. And then I remember his friend was with him, and he was uh, complaining about that the subway execs were talking about how he was gaining weight. Oh, they were they were upset. Drama. They were like, I love that. They're like, it's bullshit, man. <laughs> it bu he's like, you look great, Jer to to Jerry. You know, he's like, <laughs> he's got yes man. He's got yes man being like, you're not fat. <laughs> he's got wow. a posse. Yeah, and then he goes, do you want to split a pizza? <laughs> Jerry asked me. That's for real. Yeah, and I go, okay. <laughs> I'm the fat one. Yeah, I can. <laughs> so eat I can eat pizza all I yeah. want. So we were at the W Hotel, and he ordered Pizza Hut. Wow. Yeah. I bet there was something in his contract was like, you can't eat pizza. Of course. Yeah. 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 And they were like, you can't be seen eating other fast foods. Mm. Anything what like the that. fuck? That whole Jared phenomenon is so crazy. Like, they're treating him like royalty. He's just a guy that lost weight eating sandwiches. It just blows my mind to this day, like the phenomenon of Jared. Did you? Were I you was influenced by Jared? No, I've never seen it. It's wild. I think that marketing campaign really did a lot for Subway. Because that was during the five foot. Five dollar footlong. Five dollar Those five things. Belongs. Those things do not continue without being successful. You know what I'm saying? The a campaign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was their spokesman for 15. I ate years. a lot of Subway during those years. Yeah. And it wasn't healthy Subway either. No, nah, you got you had the Germain Subway. <laughs> I got. I was, yeah. I got, they didn't need Germain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, had Ethan. they had Ethan doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he was. Um, he lucked out crazy on getting that gig. Of I course. How much he made? What's his net worth? I'm gonna look that up. I think it was it had to be. A yeah, it's yeah. like five minutes from here. What about that? Is so you it? Just be one that's Does it work? That would not. That wouldn't be too bad at all. All right, fuck's sake. Jared Fogel got in our internet. Yeah. <laughs> from prison, he just hacked into this stream. Jared Fogel. Oh, you think Jared was behind it? I'm sure of it. So. Mm. I don't have a single doubt about it. Wait, here, I, th I can see us right now. Oh, we're live? I think we're back. Okay. We're woo back. Woo we are I back. I think uh, our conversation was on. A whole conversation? Not our whole conversation. I don't know. What about Jared, I... Jared getting our shit? No, no, no. <laughs> what did we say? say? Did they get us saying the N word a bunch of times? <laughs> 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 shit. Shit. Can you cut that out? <laughs> I don't think we can cut that out. Can I say that you said it? Yeah, we said it. It was just us. All right, so we're good, Dan. We can continue as we were. 
Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like we Wait, are. Wait, when did that happen, Nila? Just now. I said that. Well, what? I. Oh. Whatever. Anyway, that was dramatic. The internet dropped out, but yeah. apparently we're back. I was just uh, looking up Fogel. Can maybe you could tweet out that we're back live or something? Ah, who cares? I'll do it. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it. They'll figure it. They know what. They know the rules. <laughs> Jared Fogel's net worth is fifteen million. You ah, guessed good it. Guess. Nice. Fifteen milli. It's good. Damn, just eating sandwich. <laughs> just sandwich. I love that bro. he was in his trailer. Just taking uh, walks. <laughs> Yeah, that's all he did. <laughs> Do you think he lo he lost five hundred pounds though? Actually, just eating. I don't stuff? know if it was five. I might be getting, but I mean, it was over three hundred pounds. Yeah, it was a lot. It's a lot. God bless him. He Except just. For the it was supposed to be a. It was a men's health article. Mm. So he. It was just like a thing where oh, this guy, who was super obese, uh, lost a bunch of weight by going on walks. And it wasn't that Subway was weight loss food. He was like, I just, I would walk and go get a six inch. Sub. A veggie delight or something. Yeah. Like and then I would keep walking and I did this every day and I lost all this weight. And that was an ad. Mm -hmm. And Subway saw it and was like, we should run a commercial Some with this guy. brilliant guy. Was yeah. like, got him. And huh. then that just, you know, took off from there. Damn. All the work he did, man. Yep. He had the <laughs> easiest ride in life, but he had to be a fucking pedophile piece of shit. That was like the biggest, one of the great pedophile twists of history. <laughs> yeah. Some, I mean, now you kind of see it. There's a lot of pedophile a little twists, bit. but this is one of the great ones. That's one of the great yeah. ones. Like, when well, you look at a guy like... kind of like always a twist. Well, no. When you look at a guy like Jimmy Savelle, you're like, that guy definitely rapes kids. Yeah. But Jared... Yeah, I don't... I mean, I guess I definitely didn't see it coming, but he has some creepy... There's a he's creepy got a vibe. quality to him. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's got a vibe. Yeah. Um, well, God bless, man. Glad that you uh, dodged that. Holy That's, shit. That... Six inch sandwich, not Jared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too old for him. I never would have been able to shake that man. Yeah, those were airing for years and years. The thing is, even if you went on to be successful, as I'm sure you would, it would just be like this great meme about yeah, you. yeah, yeah. You were Jermaine, but yeah. the story is so good. So and I do, that. I have, I do want to see the uh, commercials. I was thinking, like, oh, you know, if you can get in touch with the right person, you could get them. Mm -hmm. Then I realized. That's evidence. Well, no, yeah, it's uh, well, it's just that <laughs> there's no like because he's in it. It was. It's, I'm sure it's. It's a little stranger. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Did they ever get upset at you for like telling the story at all? <laughs> Who's or that? Subway people. No, they can't. What can I mean, they do now? Yeah, you know, and they killed it. In, to the, yeah. in their defense, they. Do can you do ever that. know why they killed it? That all I always heard was just the marketing, the marketing mm -hmm. VP. Oh right, yeah. you said that. Yeah, yeah right. that's it. That's the only thing I was told. Yeah. Um, so funny. I heard you tell a story, another great one from from uh, from uh, what was it, the uh, disgraceful, right? About you uh, being fat saved your life when you overdosed. No, yeah, that was on. Uh, this is not happening. Ari oh, yeah. show. Oh, right, right, right. It was the yeah. Comedy Central yeah. thing. Yeah, I love that story so much. You overdosed on drugs mm -hmm. when you were freshman back in college, college yeah. and the doctor says. Being fat saved your life, essentially. basically, or one of the t only times being fat saved your life. And <laughs> yeah. I wanted to say it because it it struck in me a memory of a fat guy whose life was saved because he was fat, and it stuck with me. I wanted to share that story. With what you. is it? I was watching Cops, mm -hmm. and there was a guy who was stabbed like by a six-inch, really brutal blade. Mm -hmm. And the cop is like, "How?" Like he show, shows up, and the guy's just sitting there. He's completely fine. He's huge. He's obese. He's yeah. massive gut. He got stabbed with a six-inch blade. Didn't touch the, the vitals at all. <laughs> he was totally, he was just sitting there having a cigarette, yeah. all good. And so I thought to myself, that guy, he was fat and it saved his life. Dude, in, in the commercials for why you should be fat, they should tell these stories. <laughs> there's, you know? there's benefit. <laughs> they should be like, if you get stabbed, it won't hit any vitals. Right. And if you take a lot of drugs, good chance you'll live through it. Be fat. <laughs> right. That should be the commercial. Right. Be fat. For, yeah, it was, it was... Mine was like, they were just like, you should definitely be dead. Right. That's uh, You know, when they were looking at the toxicology, and I was like, why am I not dead then? And right. they're like, because you're like 255 <laughs> pounds. And like, they, that's the only thing we can think. That You've you just... lost a lot of weight since then. Uh, since then, yeah. I mean, I actually lost a lot of weight after that mm -hmm. and kept mm -hmm. it off for a few years, gained all that back mm -hmm. and then some, mm -hmm. and then lost part of that again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Up and you, down. It's real your, healthy for your system. I know. I do that, too. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm always like that. It's so hard. I'm like, I'm a naturally fat guy. I'm always battling. I, yeah. Greg Fitzsimmons told me, he goes, you're built to be fat. 
That's what he said to me. I was like, that's a great title. You're dead. <laughs> yeah. Built to be fat. Yeah. Built, to be, Built fat. to be fat is a great title. Be your next special. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I mean, now I'm just, I'm really trying to maintain, you mm -hmm. know, like with try to avoid sugar as much as I can. I feel like that was like my big thing. Was That one, sugar's just, it's just horrible. People debate about stuff all the time. Sugar is poison. Sugar is poison without, without, without question. Agrees, yeah. Yeah. And the sugar lobby is enormous. And that's, you know, it's a you powerful, know, powerful lobby. I lose my mind sometimes because I try to cut out on sugar too. At the grocery store, there's sugar and fucking everything. Like, yeah. you can't even find bread. I'm, I'm That's the you. one thing that drives me crazy because in Israel, the bread is not sweet. I don't, uh -huh. Why should it be sweet? It's bread. Sure, it's bread. And here, it's I can't stand There's some like There's like five bun. grams of sugar. In there's some hamburgers with like seven grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. Like, what? I want, I want it so badly. I want that. The sweet bread? All of it. I want yeah. croissants. Yeah. I want <laughs> treats, cookies, yeah. brownies. It's fucked. I want pancakes, waffles. <laughs> yeah. I want it all, man. Yeah. Pasta. Come on. I want it all the time, mm -hmm. but yeah, I try to avoid it, you know, as much as I can. Sometimes I'll go without having it for like a month more. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'll only have incidental sugar sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but that, and then I mean, I've been a workout with trainer now. I do mm -hmm. boxing. How frequently nice. are you working out? Um, four days a week. Wow, wow that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Are you actively still on the decline, weight wise? Um, I felt I felt like I hit a plateau mm -hmm. recently, and then I increased the workouts mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago where so. do you do it is it like in a gym or in a gym i go to a no. small gym where you just do like one-on-one -on -one training mm -hmm. so we tried doing that but it yeah. was just i found that it was i liked it i, I go on hikes sometimes too which i think is great you that's know that's great if you enjoy you're outside it. you do it like that's uphill you're doing pretty intense cardio mm -hmm. yeah i don't know it's uh it's always a battle though man you know it's i feel so, like yeah I feel like well, I'm five days away from it all falling apart. I know. Yeah. It's so fucked up. People like Ela, she's just like, it's so easy for skinny people like you. I have the to opposite. To be like, oh, just put down the fork. No, but I understand because I've been trying to gain weight for like... Get crazy? a load of this shit. I know. Get a load of this I have been trying though and I'm not succeeding, so I understand, understand the, the cycle of, the of not succeeding yeah. to make a stupid change. Like gain weight. What's the problem? I don't know what's the problem. Well we have different, you know, <laughs> systems and basically her 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 you know, her body just processes it completely differently. Mm -hmm. It's basically a more efficient system. You know, <laughs> I feel just... like she's just not hung like I, I feel like I have that, an insatiable right. hunger. Yes. I crave and desire hamburgers and pizza yeah every fucking day. yeah i'm with you brother it's like a drug addict yeah it's it is it's not like it is. i used to think i've said this before i used to think that people that weren't fat just didn't like food you know but it's kind of true i don't know i don't it's think not, they like it as much as us i think mm, it's not maybe that. we have more of an addiction than them but yeah, i still think they, of a lot addiction. of them a lot of them like food. some of them are just healthy and know like Oh, you shouldn't eat garbage all the time. Yeah. Um, and then that kind of is enlightening oh, well, to be I, around. I think about it a lot. Is it an issue of self-control or are we kind of genetically... Both. Uh, Both. Yeah. We're genetically weaker or, you know, worse more off inclined. in like some regard. Like people are more inclined to be alcoholics, for example. Yeah. But I think, we, you know, it's, it's a matter of efficiency, too. Like your, your body, you know, some, some bodies are like perfectly engineered mm -hmm. for food. Mm -hmm. And if you get the sugar spike, it just processes everything effectively and efficiently. Mm -hmm. And then there's, you know, like there's, there's the super obese where it's like, that's, a, that's where the efficiency is completely off. Mm -hmm. right. And then there's like in between. Like Chubby us. dudes. Yeah. <laughs> Germains. Germains. Yeah. yeah the Germains and of the world. Yeah. It's just like, you're just like, God damn. It's actually worse, right? When you're like, like me or you're just like, fuck, like you're just hanging on. Like, it's just <laughs> steps away from falling off the other route. I used to have a, a roommate in college who was, like, you, like very thin, mm -hmm. a, a dude, and he was just di like dying to gain weight. Yeah. He would eat, he would try to eat and gain weight, then would make shakes, and we one day we uh, we were counting the calories, needed, like, 12,000 calories. What? Whoa. In a yeah. day? Yeah. And wow. um, it, it didn't, just didn't matter. Wouldn't gain His a pound. His body was just like, no. Yeah. Wouldn't gain a pound. You know, uh, in nature, we're we're the survivors. We are, right? Yeah, because yeah. we hold on. To well, yeah, because if I got overdose of drugs, oh uh, yeah, you're I gone. would be like gone. <laughs> yeah, or if you can't find food out in no, the wild, no, we, we, right? we stock up. Yeah, I'll tell you what. With uh, in the zombie apocalypse, we're gonna be, we'll be the survivors. That's right. We'll die eventually. 
But it'll take a while. But we'll we'll get to have the pleasure of seeing all of our loved ones die first. Pleasure. Yeah. We'll be tribal leaders. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be survivors. I'm sure. Of it. Um. You know, the other thing I really related to in that story is how the first thing after you find out you're not dead is like the first thing you're worried about is if your parents are mad at you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, so resonated with you, huh? It's so much like how I live. It was like, my if... first panic. It was panic. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I came to, I was in a coma. I didn't know I was in a coma. I just, I'm literally, I'm looking at ceiling lights. Mm -hmm. And I see this doctor who I know. It's my friend's mother. Oh. oh <laughs> and she sees me come to and she's like, you're in the hospital. And I was like, and I have tubes in my mouth and my arms are restrained. I can't so all, think. I'm, all this you're putting together yeah. as it happens, you're like, mm -hmm. she's like, you're in the hospital. She goes, you overdosed and you're in the hospital, but we're taking care of you. And I was like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And then oh I just God. see my parents come into frame and I was <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> shit. Because <laughs> my whole thought was like, do they know? Yeah. Do they know what I did? Yeah. yeah. How could they not? Oh, yeah. And they were like, <laughs> you know. And I wrote that down to my, I really wrote down to him, are you mad at me? Which, like, looking back on it makes me, like, feel bad for me as that kid. Like, it's kind of a sweet thought. It's a very yeah. sweet You know, thing. are you mad at me to your dad? Yeah. And him looking, reading it and going, like, just disappointed. Yeah. I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, just give me some love like, right now. come on, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, I love that. Just be like, I'm no happy break. you're alive. No break like, from dad. Yeah. Did you make the joke, I wondered, about heroin? You overdosed on heroin. They said, what did you overdose on? You said heroin. Yeah. You did that. I did do that. Yeah, oh I really did do that. The, I was like, the <laughs> part that I didn't so do, I think, in the uh, <laughs> in real life, was write J.K. Mm -hmm. um, but I did write heroin, <laughs> and people were, were like, were they panicking? Yeah, of course. And I was like, I'm just kidding. Lol. Yeah, <laughs> lol. Yeah, and um, <laughs> yeah, nice. but to be joking in that you had it yeah, back then. In that, I, yeah, even back then I was. That's a special moment to yeah. crack a joke. Yeah, in writing on a notepad. In writing That's with the cool. wrong hand. I'm left handed. I wrote it in with my right hand. I'm like hey, dedication. Heroin. Yeah. I'm like ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That's wonderful. So you on your podcast, you guys talk about Brown Town a lot. Brown yeah. Town and all that. Yeah. So we of, we do too. You do? Incidentally, <laughs> yeah. a lot of feet. We got to go on a double date. Um, yeah, there's a lot to ground to cover. And one Christina's thing that, favorite. Favorite thing. It's mine. Eva's not so much into it. I can't stop talking about it. It's just my life. The uh, yeah, you, you <laughs> you're just resigned to it at you, this point. You, you know what you signed up for. <laughs> Another <laughs> reason your father's upset. <laughs> it was like, he talks about poop all the time. Yeah, he doesn't understand me, but he wasn't like that either. <laughs> it wasn't like I wasn't talking about poop before we got married. No, you were. It always. wasn't like we got married and all of all of a sudden I was like. Man, let me tell you about my. One of our before. first how, videos how on YouTube was you talking about how you That's wipe. Yeah. Really. And yeah. and it's and, and it's a debate that lasts to this day. So I wanted to ask you some wiping and pooping questions if you don't mind. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> so first of all, tell me, do you use baby wipes? Um, no, but I do. I I, I have used baby wipes, um, a, a wipe pack, outside of the house. Mm. At the house, fantastic. If that's your if you're if you're out in public. Yeah. And I have used baby wipes in, in some situations, like, you know, Isn't it traveling. You start Fantastic. dry, you end wet. But the best by far is having a bidet or a washlet. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is so good. I don't get the, but the, the great debate we have on this podcast is baby wipes versus bidet. I don't get the bidet, and I feel like you're a hairy guy like me. Oh, it's disgusting I have down a there. hairy asshole. Yeah. And I don't understand this process. We have a bidet in our new house, Yeah. and I've squirted water on my... I've tried it, okay? This is the update people are waiting for. Yeah. Everybody's been waiting for this update. I don't get it because it doesn't really clean the asshole. It just sprays. And then, and then like, how do you Explain dry it? Explain to us. Because Let's if you hear. put toilet paper on the asshole and there's all this hair here, it just bunches up and you've got a fucking paper machine I hear asshole. You. I hear you. Come over and shit in my house, okay? <laughs> that good? <laughs> yes. Are you going to be there with me to walk me through if it? If you want me to, yes. Tutorial. Well, tell me. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> you have, we have, you have different speeds Different oh, temperatures. We are, level. are you doing like we a, have a, different temperatures? Is there different temperatures? It's a faucet. Yeah, okay. it's like a faucet. Oh, okay. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it squirts like it squirts like here. Uh huh. It doesn't. You have to really like get in there to get you're, where it needs to be. You're at amateur hour. And you need to come like, over. Okay, tell me about your bidet. Okay, so 
I'm having another new one installed tomorrow. That's oh, right. wow. But I have, tomorrow. Yeah, I have two Toto Washlet E350Es. Uh, not sponsors, but I'm just oh, telling you the product. Down. Okay. Write it down. Um, and then, then take note. Yes. Uh, Bio Bidet sent me another one. That's the one going in tomorrow. So the these Toto Washlets are game changers. I mean, you guys. What's the price tag? I think, I think what I heard was I went to one of their uh, wholesale outlets mm -hmm. and they told me this is i was like because uh, we rented a house once for a year that had one so when we bought our house i was like you needed it we are not <laughs> moving in here without this yeah and i mean like look at my chest right it's like <laughs> i mean why well, take a shit it's like i am i am, i have the same it'd be like somebody yeah. just took a fucking birthday cake and smashed it on my chest thank and they're you like, clean it up with a piece of paper you know but that Okay, go ahead. I'm not so, going to debate. Yeah. Anyways, you have the remote here, right? Oh, um, you on can the wall. On the wall. And you can take wow. it out hold it if you want. Oh, wait, we what's have the price tag? Now. Give me a, give oh, me a general I think, range. I think the wholesale, this is what they told us. The, the, the wholesale place said like it's like 1500 or something yeah. like that if you go order it from their company. And that Amazon had them new, not used, for close to <laughs> half that. Used? No, well, I'm saying I was making the point that it's Amazon, <laughs> but it's new. Yeah. <laughs> so it's market. new. Okay. But I mean, if you want to buy okay. mine, no, uh, that's fine. That's so, fine. I'm, oh, oh, we have, we've got. Okay, we've got a reference here. And it says one thousand. Is this it? Is this it? The three, it? You said the three hundred and fifty, right? Is the the washlet bidet toilet seat auto open and wait. That's just the seat, my dude. No, there's the remote oh, okay. next to it there, and yeah, this is Amazon's choice. So. Absolutely tremendous. So wait a minute. So you press your button. Yeah. They have rear or front wash, right? Because huh? women, a lot of women prefer oh, the front so wash. You've got a jet on the front and the back. Do you ever double up? Uh, I don't double up. I do use the dryer, the dryer. built-in dryer. Uh. Yeah. So what I do is there's soft pressure. So I'll run that at first, right? And just let that run. No toilet paper at all. I mean, sometimes if you feel like this is a real mud butt, I'll, <laughs> I'll do like a cursory Every wipe. Time. Yeah, where you're just like, I don't even look. I'm just like, let's get some of that chunk on. You don't look? But then, you don't even peek at it? Nah. <laughs> I always peek. You have nah. to at least take one look. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I'm like, that's a disaster. And I'll just do like a cursory wipe. I'll do the soft run, which is warm. But kind of soft water for a while, and then I'll do a wipe. For a while. Yeah, a little tease, right? <laughs> yeah. And then I'll do a wipe, and I'm like, is there more business to be done here or not? And if there is. Wait, wait, wait. You give it a soft. Right. You a give soft, it a tease. And just let it run. And then you give it a wipe. Then I give it a wipe. How do you wipe this a like wet, a recipe. hairy asshole? Like, how long do you let it how run? How do you wipe a wet, hairy asshole? Well, this is the X variable that I don't I understand. Think, I think it's just a matter of. You don't want it to be too thin, so maybe you know you wrap your hand a little bit, right? So right. there's a there's a little thickness right. to what so you're wiping it with, fray. right? And then uh, you wipe. Like you do like a dab, or you get in there. Depends on the on the day, but like, ooh, today I did hot ones. Right. Yesterday, it's <laughs> right. been a fiery <laughs> asshole of a day. Yeah. I mean, it was it's been kind of gnarly. So and, take so me through that wash. There's no towel involved, is there? What's that? There's no towel involved. Towel. Yeah. No. You know these no. fucking right. okay. freaks? They use a towel. That's another thing I don't understand. They take a white towel. Your brother's one of them. He's just, what? He's telling me he's got a towel that he drives off his asshole. I'm like, bro, you have, a, you have a shitty asshole hanging on your bathroom while you're telling me that's What? Better? I know. This is what I'm doing. I don't understand bidets. That's why. Is this what the Israeli people are like? No. These no. Are, a lot of people do the bidet towel. I'm telling you. They have shitty hand towels draped on the wall. And I never back. knew that. I never Ugh. knew that. Bidet. He's not the only one. They, they're, they're do you use a washcloth in the shower? No. Yeah. Okay. No. Don't you remember Weird. as a kid staying at someone's house and they're like, I'm going to take a shower. And they're like, here's a washcloth. And you're like, I'm not what poor. Like, like, what are you talking about, that? dude? I never so, understood the washcloth. So, it's so yeah. weird to me. Yeah. So, and I love whenever, whenever I say that, people get so upset. And they're like, <laughs> Is it a I porn? use a washcloth. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, I I, you do. I knew that about you just from looking at you. Yeah? Or just say that to like, I knew that about you. Yeah. Because you're a little strange. You're a little strange, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay, back to the wipe, though. So, we got, you get that. So that soft run goes, you wipe, okay? Then, if there's still something there, then I go, I hit the... the hit it hard. Yes. And then it's like a little bit like a fire Pops hose. It yeah. It really revs it up. And I'm telling you, if you're a hairy dude, that thing I love will that. clean you up. So the bidet that I've got seems more like a vag... Wash. It's nothing. It's, because you it's can just like a faucet at your okay. I, at that level. No, this it's is like, like pressure, real yeah. pressure, heat, which is important. 
You need to oh, have yeah. warm to yeah. hot water doing this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to buy Shit it. Shit at my house, bro. Come over <laughs> whenever <laughs> you want. Give it a test drive. Yeah, take it first time before you that. buy it. Absolutely. Huh. We'll, we'll report back on the podcast. Is the seat heated? Yes. Whoa. And, of course, also, here's... Oh, my God. I discovered this on accident with that thing. First of all, the lid opens automatically when you walk in to the room, right? So the lid is there. <laughs> so if you want to... S- if you want to sit down, right? But here's the other thing. That remote, that remote, the top of it, which is mounted to your wall, lifts the seat. So when you go what? to pee, you just push it, and it goes that. So you never have to lift up I the seat. I did not You're telling me I can drop $1,000 for that? That exists. you call a plumber to install it? You can have a handyman, a plumber. Because someone's got to put their hands in a toilet bowl. Yeah, it's nice to clean it for them a little bit, but yeah, I know. Or just call someone. Our like, toilet is yeah. pretty clean. Yeah, it's not. I guess yeah. I'm not. I'm not imagining. It's not like there's shit stains in it, but I know no. what's in Bro, there. Bro, I sat down. Okay, today, so I had a gnarly morning. You know, yeah. hot hot ones, dude. Can't like, wait, by the way. Yeah, uh, yeah. Not wait. A couple that. weeks, but so I went. I think twice. You know, I was like, this is bad, man. And then. I'm getting ready to come here, and I'm like, oh, man. Still fearing the residual. I just feel like something. I got to check out. And you know what I did? I just sat on that. I didn't do anything. Mm. I just sat down and let water run there for a while. <laughs> cool it off. And then What's for a while? I checked out. I mean, you know, 15, 20 seconds. I was just like, oh, that you were feels yeah. no. I mean, I, you can let it run till it stops running, <laughs> which I've done before. It's got some kind of uh, tank. Yeah, it's got like a mechanism. Well, it's just that, like, I think it's after a minute, it'll just shut down. What do you feel like again. when it runs out of water? What's the feel? You're like, ah. Oh. I mean, yeah. are you disappointed? Are you of course. Betrayed? I feel a little disappointed. A little mm-hmm. Do you have to sit and wait for it to recharge? No, no. You just press it right away again. Yeah. Oh, it's just, okay. It's, it's just a mechanism okay. so that it doesn't just keep running forever. Like it takes a breath. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. takes another breath. It goes right back like to work. Yeah. This makes me think of George Costanza because he was always like in the chase of the perfect. The perfect public toilet. Public toilet. But this is like the perfect toilet. I like I'm Dude, doing this. Have you tried it? Uh, yesterday I, I had a break between that and something else. <laughs> And fucking trying to take a shit in Hollywood in midday is one of the most horrible experiences. I can imagine. I mean, Hollywood like, specifically. Hollywood specifically. Public is bad enough. Yeah. I mean, you're even if you go into, Spider-Man. You go into Starbucks in Hollywood and they're like, we have no toilet. And you're like, what? <laughs> like, you're Starbucks. That's part of your service. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, no. We don't even have one. Mm-hmm. Just I ended up going to a Ralph's. Oh, Whoa. No. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I got to go, man. Oh, yeah. That, that is... I've been there. Pretty horrific. Yeah. I've been there. It's not a good Ralph's day. probably not the worst. No, mm. no. Starbucks would have been worse. I've been to yeah, one that Hollywood, was really yeah. disgusting. What? I've been to a Ralph's. Ralph? This, not sh- I, I peed. <laughs> but you hover. You don't sit. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How do you do that? They hover. I don't get the hover. They're special species. Man. They've got a whole thing going on back. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. I still don't really understand the vagina after all these years. Can if I they think? really knew the extent to how disgusting we are, <laughs> all right. Most of them wouldn't even associate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's got to be true. Yeah, we're gross. Um, well, I'm really excited to. Uh, I'm really excited to try that because I am so particular. Like, I'm I'm such a baby wipe fanatic that if I ever have to shit, and I'm sure it's you have this probably even yeah. worse with this whole high tech toilet. <laughs> yeah. When you sh- have to go without it, it's just like, how do I? It's. And the toilet paper, it's so it's ancient, enraging, bro. It's enraging. Now. It's like fucking sandpaper. Yeah. When I, you know, if I'm home for a while, and then you go on the road, you're not even thinking about it. Mm. You're in a hotel, and the first time you're like, oh, no. And you, you feel like, you feel uncivilized. You're like, what year did I just step into? Mm-hmm. Sitting here with just regular After toilet paper. I don't travel We're without fucking baby smearing life. shit in our assholes. Yeah. For all these years. That's all you're doing, Netflix. just rubbing it all in there. You know, and you know you can never really get it clean with that. Uh uh-uh. uh Do you ever get shit marks on your underwear with the bidet? Be honest. I, I, I can't. Hesitation. I can't. I'm saying I can't think of of seeing one. I also have no white underwear. No, so, that's a fool's. Yeah, that's a fool's yeah. Mistake. None. It's like ninety six percent black. Advice to everybody. Yeah. Never buy white underwear. That shouldn't even be available for. So if you're a fucking hairy fat guy, you're crazy. <laughs> Jared probably has white underwear. Oh yeah, well now it's <laughs> exclusively it's, it's state mandated. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, well, okay, we're gonna close it off. Okay, I've got one thing I love to ask you about. We do this with all of our guests. Okay, okay. We ask at the bottom of all of our podcasts. It's just a little strange, a little funky. Okay. Do, have you ever had a ghost experience, a UFO experience, or any paranormal experience? <sighs> um, and it's totally fine if you're like, you know what, I never have. I never have. 
Yeah, I I Fine. don't really feel like I have. I, I I remember cousins trying to trick me <laughs> into thinking. I, like I remember a particular experience where they were like they were dropping red dye from the ceiling, oh. you know, <laughs> trying to fuck with me. But I don't feel like I've ever had a paranormal. I experience. feel the exact same way. Same yeah. here. <laughs> never, never even a small thing. But you know what? But you, you never know. I all, have Jordan Peterson. Like ninety percent of our guests do have stories. Yeah, yeah. still. Jordan Peters had these incredible ghost stories. I was like completely blown away. Really? You never know what to expect. It's always in the sale of how somebody presents it too, mm -hmm. right? Like Jordan's a he's a storyteller. He's a story storyteller a knows how to knows how to speak. He works a crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Knows how to work it. I mean, yeah. there's people who are like, I see ghosts, and you're like, okay, <laughs> all right, buddy. Thanks. Yeah. Good. So it's probably yeah. a little. We generally different. don't yeah. have them on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> this isn't not your criteria. Yeah, no. I mean, I I never I never have. I I'm very skeptical of all that stuff Me though. Too. Yeah. yeah. I kind of go it. into it like. I don't buy it. Any of it. But poor, the people you know. who have seen it are so convinced. They're convinced. That, like, I, I can't, I can't, and these are people that I trust and know. Mm -hmm. And I can't be like, you're fucking lying or crazy. So it's hard to, um, it's hard to, you know, make the difference between yeah. being so skeptical of it, but then someone you trust saying, like, I know I've seen a ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like being like, you think you've had, I thought I saw yeah. Santa when I was seven, <laughs> you know. Yeah in the sky like I told people you know and you can also like I remember telling you can make up stories that you believe and take years to realize that you mm -hmm. definitely made it up <laughs> I remember when I lived in mm, Minnesota Mini I lived in Minneapolis as a kid for a few years mm -hmm. and when we left people would always ask me about how cold Minneapolis is and I told them about a teacher when we were outside and it got so cold that her ear fell off it froze and actually mm -hmm. broke mm -hmm. and you know, people would just be baffled by this. And, you know, with every year and every time you tell it more, <laughs> you just kind of like, it just becomes this thing. And I remember like 10 years later, I mean, I was late teens, maybe in college even, mm -hmm. telling it to somebody about, and like going into all the detail. We are at this playground and it was so, and somebody actually, as I told that, goes, that didn't happen. <laughs> and I go, what? And they're like, you definitely are making that up. <laughs> and I just like took a beat and I was like, yeah, I am making that up. Oh, like, I, I just totally, I've lied for that 10 one years. special guy. Yeah, and it just took someone to be like, that's not that's a true story. And I'll try that with my next guest. <laughs> just I'll, like, I'll let him do this like, whole big thing. I'll be like, that's not a true know story. Because you know what I think? Some, some people will be like, well, I felt like it was real. Yeah, right. But it's, it's just somebody like, instead that's of endorsing true. the story and being like, wow, that's amazing. Because if you get somebody with like-minded experience or wants to hear it, mm -hmm. that yeah. the story grows. It grows. Yeah. But yeah. if you have the person who's like <laughs> could have been a dog <laughs> you know <laughs> then they're like oh they, you're, i guess you're definitely right about that yeah yeah all right well <clears throat> that about does it yeah I'm, I'm sorry that i have to run to this no worries that was no an action-packed hour 30 that's a great podcast the time went by it was well enjoyed tom segura i'm a huge fan yeah. and i urge everybody right now to head on over to netflix watch disgraceful mostly stories and completely normal i urge you to go to tomsecord.com t-o-m-s-e-g-u-r-a yes sir that helps that helps why not Isn't it slash something dot com slash tour that, yeah yeah uh if you guys want to get tickets to his upcoming tour in august uh and and of course the podcast yeah which i'm not going to mess up this time your mom's house yes <laughs> yes and we'd love to have you guys on anytime yeah i'd love or there. to no, yeah. It'd be fun to have you guys on. And try 100%. on that toilet. And uh, we talk toilet talk. <laughs> it's at talk. your house, right? Still. It's at our house. We're, we're, you know, so. we're in the midst of looking at studios. But um, mm -hmm. So before you move, let me get in there. I can do the review. We can continue this conversation. Bro. That's <laughs> good, right? Now, make sure you have a hearty one in you before you oh. come over. Mm. Well, let's have a cup of coffee. I'll bring a cigarette. <laughs> yeah. That's sure to do the job. I'll make sure. Perfect. Pass about. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to do it. Dude, I'm uh, excited. I'll, I'll, Let us know when you when you guys want. We'll be there. Okay, yeah. perfect. Like we live nearby. Yeah, it'd be excellent. Tom, thank you so much. Thank you for having thank me, guys. You. Guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Next week we've got uh, who do we have next week? Boogie. Boogie. Oh, Boogie. Awesome. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be really looking forward to that. I want that Teddy Fresh swag. We're gonna hook let's you up do it right now. now. Thank you. I'm when so is Boogie? It's on Tuesday, right? Or Wednesday? Like <laughs> Tuesday. That's right. Okay, well, Tuesday. So, guys. Uh, God bless you. Appreciate you. Love you. And we'll most definitely be seeing you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching.